Hello there! Today I'm going to review a sample informal letter for the IELTS test. We'll go through every stage together and at the end of the presentation you'll be completely aware why this letter deserves a high score. Let's get familiar with the task. Last month you had an overseas holiday with some friends where you stayed at their house. They have just sent you some holiday photos. Write a letter to your friends. In your letter, thank them for the holiday and the photos. Explain why you didn't write earlier. Invite them to come and stay with you. This is the letter which sets a high standard. A great number of people would say that there's nothing special about it. Let's see. In terms of task achievement, we should note that a high score in formal letter should fully satisfy all the requirements of the task, clearly present um, developed response. Moreover, it demonstrates distinctive features of uh, informal writing, such as contractions, colloquial and simple language. A perfect letter starts and ends properly and creates an illusion of close friendship. Ok, let's go back to the letter. What about the beginning? Hi, John and Laura. How are you both? I hope this letter finds you well. Although it's such a short time since we last saw each other, it feels much longer. That's it. The end is like this. Take care and write back soon. Sandra. What about contractions? We can uh, see it's. It'll. With. Will. One more will. And theirs. Uh, concerning uh, the uh, task achievement and covering all the bullets. The first bullet was Thank them for the holiday and the photos. Let's compare. Thank you so much, not only for such a memorable holiday, but also for the lovely photos that you sent of our holiday together. It brought it all back to me so vividly. Staying with you and seeing where you live was a real eye-opener for me. Australia is certainly a scenic country with remarkable landscape and wildlife, particularly up in the north where you are. Mm, great! Think the, uh, explain, sorry, explain why you didn't write earlier. Sorry, it has taken me so long to write back and thank you. Almost as soon as we landed back in the UK, my mother became sick. Since then, we've been running around looking after her and getting Kiara sorted out. She seems to be improving now and hopefully will be back to normal soon. Mm -hmm. That's the point covered. Uh, the third bullet was invite them to come and stay with you. Uh, next month we'll be celebrating our wedding anniversary and we'd be delighted if you could come over to celebrate it with us. It'll be a chance for you to meet the rest of the family and see a bit of England. Of course you must stay with us. There's plenty of room and we'll pick you up at the airport. I really, I really hope you can make it. Please look at uh, the form, the visual presentation of the letter. We have uh, such a clear uh, paragraphing, very appropriate to the task. Every um, bullet uh, is covered in a separate paragraph, which is very convenient and makes a good impression on the examiner. 
Let's move on to coherence, which is a general organization of the text and relationship between its parts. First and foremost, we can spot that every bullet point saying thank you, apologizing and invitation go separately, which creates a crystal clear pattern for the readers to follow. It's called appropriate paragraphing. The logic expresses itself through simple ideas. In contrast, a typical mistake is when exam takers confuse an informal letter with writing an essay and apply such devices as firstly, secondly, to conclude, to set up the whole frame. It sounds unnatural within this style. In addition, multiple references to the past enhance the impression of close relationship between Sandra and her friends and cement the text as a unity. In relation to cohesion, which is sticking the text together at the micro level, it's achieved through reference words – both, you, each other, and transitional signals uh, – since then, not only but. Crucially, these transitional signals don't stand out. The writer avoids uh, a typical mistake of too many transitional signals. Linking devices sound unobtrusive. In other words, the entire text runs smoothly. What's more, the unity of the latter is accomplished through the skillful conduct of complex sentences. Logically, it's time to pay our particular attention to grammar. The writer demonstrates a wide range of structures with the dominance of complex sentences. Let's uh, have a closer look. Complex sentence, complex sentence, complex sentence, complex sentence, complex sentence. So hardly can you find a simple sentence in this letter. Starting with gerund, add some variety. Where is our gerund? Here. Staying with you and seeing where you live was a real eye-opener for me. That is a gerund at the beginning. She seems to be improving versus she's improving. When it goes about Sandra's mom's condition, we can find the sentence She seems to be improving now, which makes this particular sentence sound more interesting not so common. Second conditional. It's not hidden in in the this uh, in um, paragraph about inviting. Uh, we'd be delighted if you could come over to celebrate it with us. We would be delighted if you could. Typical second conditional. Uh, the variety of conjunctions in this letter also stands uh, the writer in good stead. Um, on a par with uh, so common and and but, we can also find although, not only, but almost as soon as, since, then, then. Um, although it's such a short time since we last saw each other. Not only for such a memorable holiday, but also for the lovely photos. Almost as soon as we landed, since then, we've been running around. Let's consider the range of tenses in this letter. I hope this letter finds you well, a typical example of present simple. We saw each other, you sent of our holiday together. Past simple. Look at this. It has taken me so long to write back and thank you. Has taken, present perfect. Uh, 
Since then we've been running around. Present perfect continuous. And in this final part, uh, we can find uh, several examples of future simple and even future continuous. Future continuous is here. We'll be celebrating. Simple future is it'll be a chance. Uh, we'll pick you up. Great job! Last but not least, vocabulary contributes to your score. What makes a perfect vocabulary is collocations. There are plenty of them in the sample. Just listen. This letter finds you well. A real eye-opener. You can make it. It brought it all back to me so vividly. Be back to normal soon. Get something sorted out. In the letter it was get uh, the care sorted out. Unsurprisingly, it's fiendishly difficult for non-native speakers to produce the same level of naturalness. So, collocations are crucial if you want to sound like a native speaker. This letter is also rich in phrasal verbs. Uh, look uh, how numerous they are. Pick up, bring back, land back. Run around, look after, come over, sort out, write back. Finally, I'd like to attract your attention to descriptive adjectives, which are memorable, a memorable holiday, scenic, a scenic country, remarkable, remarkable landscape, a lovely, the lovely photos, and we have a, a descriptive adverb. Remember how, remember vividly. Note that the writer doesn't use words like good, bad, interesting, important, fantastic job. With all of that said, I hope I've encouraged you to follow the golden standard and customize these recommendations to your own informal letters. Welcome to our school where you'll definitely improve your writing.